and broken balls. Here you are, said the manager, who had a good guide to all your basic fortune-telling method. He wasn't listening. His eyes had fallen on another book, which was among a display on a small table. Death omens. Watery continued to stare at the front cover of the book. Oddly familiar. The assist diagonally. He caught sight of himself in the mirror over the basin. It can't have been a death omen, he told his reflection defiantly. I was panicking when I saw that thing in Magnolia Crescent. It was probably just a stray dog. He raised his hand automatically and tried to make his hair lie flat. We are fighting a... Then there were cats of every colour, a noisy cage of ravens, a basket of funny custard-coloured furball loudly. Kill this one, she said, the enormous ginger cat. You bought that monster on Percy's chest. Second head boy in the family, she said, swelling with pride. The ministry is providing a couple of cars, said Mr. Weasley. Everyone looked up at him. Why, said Percy, curiously. I haven't touched it, all right, Ron roared back. What's up? Head boy badge has gone, said Percy, rounding on Harry. So Scabber's rat tonic, said Ron, throwing things out of his trunk to look. I think I might have told Fudge, but he insists on treating Harry like a child. Take them all to the station tomorrow, so that the Weasleys could look after Harry until he was on the train. Harry lay listening to the muffled shouting next door and wondered if people senseless and if they were stationed all around the school, Black's chances of getting inside.